Canva has been leading the way in making it easier to create content and market your business. I came across this really cool feature that was just released in Canva, which is called Magic Design. So today I'm going to share with you real quick how to use Magic Design in your business, especially if you're an event professional. For those of you that are new to this channel, my name is Jessie. I am a HoneyBook Certified Pro as well as a business consultant that specializes in working with service-based businesses and event industry professionals with being able to streamline their business so they can focus on doing their service and not always being bogged down with their back office systems. We've heard a lot of really cool things about Magic, right? And I just happened to stumble across Magic Design this week, so I had to come and do a real quick video for you. Um, so things a little choppy, please just bear with me because I wanted to make sure I put this out there because I know one of the things that people often talk to me about or complain about is that how do I stay constant or consistent on social media? Um, what kind of content to put out there? And I'm just gonna say it, like Canva's making it a lot easier for you. As long as you, in my opinion, have a pro account, it's going to save you time um, and money. So let's go to Canva. I do have the Canva Pro account. So in here, when you log in, I can see when I saw here, it has magic presentation. So for those of you that may be doing workshops or presentations for your business, that will be something you can use. Um, I use Magic Write, which is kind of a hybrid between Canva and ChatGPT. Um, so if either, if you want me to do a presentation, a video or a YouTube video on um, either one of those, please let me know because I don't have a problem with doing that. Um, but mind you, I am not a Canva pro, but I want to be able to help other event professionals with being able to use these platforms um, so that you're able to really showcase your business and brand in the right way. Um, so here we are. I saw when I went to my homepage, there's this at the right hand side, try out magic design. And that's what made me click. I'm like, what is this? So with magic design, the really cool thing about it is that it will allow for you to upload a photo and you have the option to choose between different types of reasons or categories for the templates that you're going to create. So I'm going to walk you through how I stumbled across this. So I just click try out, try it out. And then what I end up doing is as you see here, they have filters and categories. And then at the right hand side, it says insert media. So what I did was I clicked insert media. You can upload any photo or image that you have on your phone, like on your laptop that you may want to use to design something. So I'm just gonna pull any image that I just happen to have. Um, I'm just gonna pull anyone, doesn't really matter. So let's say that's the image that I was planning on doing a Instagram post for. It's going to create the design. Okay, so it's gonna create the design and it's gonna give you different options. So if you look here, it has Instagram posts, it has a flyer, your stories, um, other flyers, Pinterest pens, Y'all, this is a game changer because you can legitimately create a ton of content for different platforms. If you're not using Pinterest yet for your event planning business or your event industry business, I highly recommend it. Um, if that will be a great video, comment below and let me know um, because my whole goal on this channel is to be able to create content that's going to be helping us with being able to really grow and expand our brands and start showing up more professionally. And there are some awesome ways to grow and expose your business that's not solely dependent on Instagram. And I want to be able to educate you on that and showing the different platforms and apps that are out there that are going to help you with streamlining your business and being able to just kill it in the game. Okay, so you see here that it gives you these different options and um, colors and things like that. You have the ability to change the different colors, the styles. So if you wanted to do that, I want to just go on and see results. But of course, from a brand standpoint, we want to always use our brand colors. If you do not have your brand colors, that is something that I highly recommend because you do not want your your, your whole brand to be a rainbow, unless that's what you're wanting. So what I would really um, encourage you to do is make sure the colors you're gonna be using in this are gonna be the colors that you're using on your website, on your marketing materials, 
any social media graphics, you want to use the same fonts as well as the same colors. Um, so on here, you see I can change the colors and the styles. Then you also have the ability to change the headline. So if there was something I wanted to write, um, let's just say spring event ideas, just because that's what comes to mind. Look, everyone, it has, it, it changes it right there. And then what I thought was really cool is that when you go to your categories at the top left hand side, you have the ability to actually click, like, so if I wanted to do this for a different type of document, it will do that. If I wanted to do this for um, marketing materials, let's say, and I wanted to have this for brochures, if it works well, if it works correct. Sometimes it is a little glitchy and it does tell you that it is in beta, so please don't Say, hey, Desi, I tried to switch it to another thing and it didn't work. That's just because, again, they do tell you this is in beta. So you just want to be patient with it. So I just changed, checked it to Instagram posts. Look at this, y'all. Like, mind blown. This is really going to truly help you with understanding how to market your business. Like, what you could do is actually go into each one of these if you wanted to and then customize the template. So I'm just going to customize this template. And when you have a pro account, I highly recommend you setting up a brand kit. So then that way you are able to um, make sure that your brand colors and everything are always gonna be the same. So I'm just gonna click on the blue because of course that is not my color. Um, and so what I would just do is find the best color for the background that I would want to use. Let's just use this one. Then I can easily just go in here and then do greatnightambition.com. I would make that all big. Then my brand fonts are these. And what I would just do is mess around with, and again, I'm not gonna do a whole design video because I am not that girl, but I just want to be able to show you that you have the ability to do some really cool things in here, but it just comes down to you taking the time to learn about like how you're going to use this. So again, come in here, have fun, play around with this new tool. What I would recommend for you to do is to use both Magic Write in conjunction with Magic Design. Magic Write, since I, as I mentioned, it allows for you to use some of the functionality that a platform like ChatGPT does. So what you would do is go into Magic Write in your Canva and for ideas, let's say you are a balloon artist. So what I would do is possibly prompt in Magic Write what are the five trends and balloon? What are the five balloon trends for the spring? Or what are the five spring colors or the five design inspirations? And it's going to give you a list of those prompts based off of what question you ask. What I would then do is come into Magic Design and then I would find a template that works well. And to save time, what I would do is maybe only use one to two of those templates. And then I would change out the wording so that I'm using the wording that Magic Write gave me into the Magic Design. It might sound like a lot. Again, if you want me to do a video on TikTok or something like that, I don't mind doing that. But I do think that this is going to help those of you that are stuck on what do I put on my social pages or in my marketing material or I'm not a graphic designer. I don't know what to do. And maybe you may not be in a position to have a freelance graphic designer or to even pay someone on Fiverr to do it. So this is going to be your game changing option. I wanted to do this video because I really feel that I was super excited because I'm definitely going to utilize this in my own business. So I thought, why not be able to come and share this with you? Um, I'd like to know if you comment below, is this something you're going to use? Are you even using Canva? Because if you're not using Canva, I highly recommend it, but I get that it, every platform is not for everyone. Um, and I look forward to continue to bring you some awesome videos. I have a lineup of great content that's already recorded that's going to be released um, every week for you moving forward. Um, and I would love it if you can subscribe to this channel because I am here for you and I'm looking forward to building this great community that's going to be servicing um, event and service-based professionals with your back-end parts of your business. All right, that's going to be it. Peace.
Thank you.